Jackie Puppy. Oh. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Jackie Puppy. Hello, everybody who is watching this. I will um, just bring you guys on one of the last moments of me here in the Netherlands before I travel to Peru. And um, yeah, I just want to document this and yeah, because I just like doing this and showing you guys what it's like <laughs> to um, see the world through my eyes for a while. So um, enjoy as I will bring you guys with me through this day. <laughs> I want to show you guys a little bit around how my place looks like and where I've spent a good time of my life. Oh, he's talking. I am uh, leaving my country once again, the Netherlands, to move to a place that my heart, that has just been calling my heart the whole time and it just feels so natural and right. So um, yeah, I will bring you guys with me and uh, before I will go I will just properly say see you again soon. Cause this place is really beautiful and uh, I really enjoyed it here, but um, it's time to move again and it's time to change and uh, yep. So I'm taking you guys with me to my favorite place, um, it's alongside the river and uh, yeah. Some fun things usually happen here. I saw a lot of like uh, wakeboarders and whatsoever, and a lot of beautiful birds. And uh, yeah, it's the path that leads to my spot.
but I I have been coming to almost every day in my six weeks that I've been back in the Netherlands. This spot has just been so amazing to me and nourishing and I just can't, I don't have words for it. There have been so many times here where a lot of crazy stuff has happened. Internally, externally. There have been times where I've become so immersed with my presence. And so many times where I've just cried. And I once had a time, there was like a small like white insect with a long tail. And it was flying, just like right here somewhere. And it landed like right here next to me. And I was like, dude, what's happening? It landed and it laid here on the ground, like right here. And the insect started to like shake and I was like, dude, what's going on? And then I saw that he was actually transforming. He was going through a transformation and he came to sit next to me and do that right in front of my eyes, which is so symbolic, but it was shaking and shaking and I saw its super long tail. I saw that just extending and extending as the new, as the insect shedded away its old shell and old um, skin that did not serve it anymore. And it went out and there was the same creature but a complete different, more yellowish color. And I was just blown away. I couldn't believe it. And I was like, dude, this is my best friend. Like, this is amazing. And that he actually does that, like, right next to me. It's just so beautiful. That little insect, like, just wow. Like, it's... What a beautiful process that I could witness at that right moment. Whilst I was going through so much, as we all are. But it was just so symbolic and it hit me so hard that we, cre we creatures are supposed to transform. We are supposed to let go of what does not serve us anymore. That we have become so attached to as parts of our ego that, that just want to dissolve what we hold on to it unconsciously. As we become more conscious, we can choose to shed away our past. We can heal ourselves and liberate ourselves from our past, revealing the totality, the beauty, the fullness of what life wants to teach us. The fullness of this. There's another boat. <laughs> and um, yeah, that's just a little bit about this place. <laughs> it's just been so meaningful. Just sitting here and, and just feeling the water as we are water. And oh wow, there's like little... like. Um, water swirls oh yeah before I'm going to fuck this up I'm going to uh, just not fuck this up <laughs> and just return back to base everything with them like their cars and right in front of me there are like oh man it's cloud there are like 20 cows sitting under one tree <laughs> and they're standing and uh, it's just such a comedy man oh man I wish you guys could see it oh maybe you guys can I'm just gonna edit this just like how animals unite we should too then it will never drain us to to share love, as that is what we are. And um, together we are much more powerful as, as it just multiplies the levels of love that we are with other people. And uh, animals just show such a good example of what it means to, to live. Because they are so grounded in, in their destiny of being the animal that they have come to embody here on this planet like they're doing such a good job and to just have fun and joy and to share love as much as we can and i know we are all trying to do this we are finding our ways to 
if we learn to do that in every situation again, to stay grounded and not think about what's up next, not think about what has happened in our past, but just simply be grounded in the present moment. And we can still cope with the life that we're doing, but just so much more joyfully. And um, it's a decision that we can make, you know. And everywhere around us lies the opportunity. Obviously it's within us, but everywhere around us, like an insect that is just doing such a beautiful job being an insect, or a plant that smells amazing and is just so still and full of stillness you can you can witness the liveness of trees we can actually communicate with them so as we raise our vibration beyond our ego and beyond our concepts of understanding like a kid open to life again and trying to make sense of life these beings of trees these beings of the insects of the plants the spirits loving beings they're everywhere we can meet them. They will reveal themselves to us. So I just laid down <laughs> for like maybe 45 minutes. And I meditated for 20 minutes, I believe. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what duration. I just so feel this move, it's quite exciting and it uh, feels quite good to, to just go again and see where life takes me. Hello beautiful people, <laughs> I just want to quickly share this, so the last week, the last two weeks, I've just been feeling Peru, where I've been the last year, for one year, <clears throat> I've been feeling it calling me so bad in, in forms of communication, my old friends would suddenly reach out to me from Peru and just talk with me, I would suddenly open their stories on Facebook that they're uploading, um, <clears throat> And just a lot of signs, like I saw like a hot air balloon and it had like the, the flag of Peru yesterday. And I was like, what's happening? And like dreams of Peru again, like reoccurring dreams of like also the old people that I met there. I was like, what? Why is this happening? So <clears throat> I felt it really a lot, but I still felt that I had something to do here. <clears throat> So I wanted to book my ticket for um, two days ago. Now it's Friday, so supposedly Wednesday. But it didn't feel right. Like I was in front of my, my laptop and just my gut and my heart and my whole body just got filled with anxiety. <clears throat> and I tried the same thing two days later. Again, on that Wednesday for upcoming Sunday. And still it didn't feel right. Like. I was like, maybe it's not meant to be for me to go to Peru. So I had a lot of doubts about it. And um, so today I just sat down in my living room <clears throat> and I had my usual morning. Some emotions piled up and I felt that I was just not clearly listening to what really wanted to to be communicated and spoken and to happen. So I went up to my bedroom to just sit and look outside of this window. I usually just look outside here, like my whole chest goes here and I just look outside and it's our garden. <laughs> and I just look outside and I turned around and there was, dude, I'm kidding you not, there is no wind today. I turned around 
And this thing, I bought this in Iquitos, in Peru. It's impossible to fall. It literally fell over, right there. And I was like, what? I was on my bed, and I was like, what's happening? And I picked it back up, and I placed it back. And this is what I saw, just only Peru right in my face, because this thing covered that part, just Peru. And I was like, okay, I'm going to see how this feels now. So I, I went back on my laptop, I went on my bed on my laptop, and I was like, are you sure, angels? Like, is this really something that must be done? Like, I feel it, but is this really true? And I just got such a natural feeling, like there was no more anxiety anymore. The 8th of September. And my mother already initially told me, like, why won't you just go the next week Wednesday? And I'm like, mm, I don't know. So <clears throat> I checked on my internet browser and it opened right up to 8th of September. And I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> all right. And I was asking again, like, please, I want some guidance. Is this the right thing to do? And something within my heart just shaked, my body, my heart just shaked. And just a lot of beautiful, euphoric, natural feelings of stillness came up. <clears throat> and I booked it and I just exploded in ecstasy because <laughs> it just feels so good. And that I actually listened to myself and waited for the right timing. So um, maybe this is a beautiful intro for my next adventure. It's just it just feels so meant to be so I'm just going and see where this is going to take me Thank you so much for Coming with me on this journey. It means a lot to me and um, I just can't wait to bring you guys with me on this so uh, Ooh <laughs>